you could spend five pound or 500 pound. That's the sort of answer I wanna to give to everybody. So electrical faults are not always the same. So you can't just text someone and say, my oven, cre my oven keeps tripping, what's wrong with it? Or my lights are going out. Why are they tripping the fuse? Because it's not as simple as that. With an oven, it could be that your element's gone and it keeps tripping the fuse. It could be the switch is wrong. It could be the fuse is underrated. It could be so many things. And like I say, yeah, go out and buy no oven, 500 pounds and it'll fix a problem. It might, won't necessarily work. And then if your lights are tripping, it could be the fact that maybe there's a rat in your loft or somewhere in your house that's chewed through a cable. Or it could be as simple as your bulb's gone. If you think, you don't get a growth on your neck and think, I'm going to Google it to find out how to get rid of this growth. You go to a doctor and ask them, what the hell is this growth? I need it gone. So that's the whole job of an electrician. You called up an electrician. He comes around. He diagnoses the problem to say, yes, it's going to cost you a fiver to repair or it might cost you £500 to repair. If you just text someone online to say, yeah, my oven keeps tripping. What's the problem? They can give you a thousand answers. And you could spend a fortune before you actually diagnose a problem and replace all these components that there's nothing actually wrong with them.